What's up you guys, it's Kenyatta Victoria here back with another video and I am so happy to be back for Monthly Motivation Season 2. Yay! Um, I hope you guys had a really good new year. I hope you guys are enjoying the month of January even though it is almost over which it did come really really quick. Um, I'm really excited to be back on here. I'm excited for everything, you know, I have planned for you guys, all my new videos, my new content. So yeah, let's get started. So I wanted to jump into the first monthly motivations of the year was how to make every new year your year. And what I mean by that is, you know, going after your goals, going after, you know, what you've been working for for so long like it's always good to have that you know those goals and aspirations when you come into the new year it's always good to have that focus and drive when you're in the new year especially like as soon as it starts you just get going into what you know you want to work for what you're aiming towards all of that so the first thing i do want to touch on is just knowing what you want to do knowing you know and being determined in what you want to do understanding that the goals that you have are going to be the goals that you're you're going to be fighting for the ones that you know you would stay up late for you put all your blood sweat and tears into that's what you know whatever you have that you're aiming for you just make it a point and have a plan make it a plan to you know just work hard and do everything you need to do in order to reach that goal um, the second thing that I want to touch on is just um, being organized with what you want to do. And what I mean by organized, whether it's school, whether it's work, whether it's, you know, your career, get organized. And I say that because I am still working on getting organized, knowing what I want to do, figuring out a plan for myself and trying to you know balance everything out because I am a college student and I do have to juggle you know homework work and you know finding time to perfect my craft and just work on what I want to do and so by doing that I definitely suggest you know you get a planner definitely get a planner that is always that really does help you when you just like kind of layer out what you want to do layer out all your to do things like you know giving yourself small goals to work towards and then getting towards the big goals later that really really helps you that really helps me i'm working on that now like i'm just just trying to stay focused and all of that and then um lastly i want to really touch on this and i want to discuss embracing your mistakes embracing all the failures that are going to come all the mistakes you're going to make all of the no's you're going to get because my dad always told me you know you're going to get a hundred no's but once you get that one yes it's going to feel worth it you're going to look back and be like wow like all these no's preparing me for this opportunity that came so i really want to touch on that because um, I am somebody who used to be like, you know, this person didn't call me back or I didn't get this grade or I didn't get, you know, this opportunity. And, you know, it's not about, um, you can't dwell on what you didn't get, what you don't have, what you haven't accomplished yet. You have to focus on what you have accomplished. And when you focus on what you have accomplished, you look back at those mistakes like, wow, like that was really, I didn't get this for a reason or, you know, this, like failing this helped me uh, perfect my craft and get better. And I was able to get this opportunity and stuff like that. So I was really, um, it was really just dawning on me that, you know, mistakes are going to happen. You're going to make failures. We're all human. We're all, you know, we're not perfect. 
We can't aspire to be perfect. We can't aspire to, again, have it all together. We can't aspire to, you know, just be everything at once. We can't be everything at once. That's the most important thing to understand. It's just that, you know, everything is gonna come when it's supposed to come. What's meant for you is always gonna be for you and nobody can ever take that away from you, ever. And overall, I just want you guys to know, like, you know, 2020, we're in a new decade, which means new possibilities, new blessings, you know, new opportunities for everybody, you know? And I just want everybody to, to just go into this year with your intentions ready and good intentions by that. And just going in knowing that, you know, you're gonna walk into your purpose, you're gonna walk into your truth, your light is gonna shine no matter what, no matter who tries to stop you, no matter what tries to get in your way. Because at the end of the day, again, what is for you will always be for you. And you're going to succeed and prosper no matter what. So I just want you guys to know that I'm here for you. I'm gonna be here to support you. There are plenty more videos that are gonna be on the way. And I hope you guys are ready. I'm just as ready as you are. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye.